Okay, we have some hydrogen gas produced when sodium metal is added to water, right? Okay, sodium, it goes, pssst. it's very reactive, right? Because it's here, really reactive, alkali metal, yeah. So, I don't know, it's just kind of fun to think about it logically, right? Okay, what mass of sodium is necessary to produce 20 liters of hydrogen? Okay. So we have our sodium at room temperature. It is indeed a solid because it is a metal. It is added to water, H2O liquid. And I make, I'm just going to kind of rewrite this to make a bit more space. And And I know that um, hydrogen gas is produced. And so you're not really told what else is, but look at what your reaction is so far. So you can think about your H2O as HOH. I might just rewrite mine, HOH. And what's happened here is like a single replacement reaction, okay? So um, this sodium is now going to go with the OH, and now the H is all by itself, okay? So now what I have is NaOH. Since it's in, like, water, then I, can, I should look at my solubility chart. Well, sodium hydroxide, you know, just from your knowledge that that's definitely aqueous. Or you should know. If you don't, you check your solubility chart. We you balance it out. Have you done that already? Okay. Um, okay, so let's go Na, H, and OH. Break it down like that. So this side, I got one, 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 two, and one. Okay, so I'm going to put a two here, which means that this is also now two, which means I got to put a two here, which means this is also now a two, so I'm going to put a two here. So everything besides the H2 needed a 2. So I want to find out information about my sodium. I am given information about my gas. So I'm told I want to produce 20 liters of this gas at SATP. So at SATP, my VM is 24.8 liters per mole. So I'm going to find my, uh, my given moles by using my molar volume. So N is equal to big V divided by Vm. So 20 liters divided by 24.8 liters per mole. And so N will equal, am I going too fast? 0 0.806 mole. Now you can do your molar ratio. So we take um, our 0 0.806 multiply by wanted over given. I get 1.61 moles. Are you following me? Are we doing good so far? Okay. So now your molar mass, that's an easy one. You just look straight at the periodic table. It's a straight up 22.99 grams per mole. Um, so your mass is equal to N times big M. which will be 37.1 grams, two sigma. 